Steve, the good thing is, he don't have to worry about starting the race, just where he starts. Got your clipboard, I see, Larry Mack. <laughs> Show me uh, notes, Larry. Show that's me notes. Right. Let's see your notes, Larry Mack, before we go to break. Come on, Larry. Atta I meant boy. to leave him up there for Daryl. Hey, hey, hey. You know I'll, give you, like? I'll give you $100 for your you know. You know what I like right now, Daryl, the guys? He's got his sleeves rolled he up. Does, he's back he down on pit road. And Larry, you look very comfortable down there, buddy. I want let you know. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll take a break. <laughs> Let reporter McReynolds. Have We're dressed for pit road. I'm with Hart Kevin Harvick. Can you see Larry Mack over there? He's like wearing a nice shirt. He's way too, there he is, way too dressed up for pit road, isn't he, Kevin? Way too dressed up. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's definitely dressed well. He looks good, though. <laughs> you might need some sunscreen on your head right here. Though. Sunscreen? sunscreen. Well, I think the whole I head. have the same problem. Yeah, yeah, you should give him some sunscreen advice, Harv. That would or probably a be a good thing. Or a hat. Thrown in different sports and things like that. So it's all for the kids. I'm a big kid at heart, so a lot of pressure on us this weekend. You mind if I just keep this Coke? I'm a little thirsty. You, you look like you're working hard. You I am it. working hard. See you guys. I'm so proud of you. Chug points. Ah. <laughs> what a mess. Yeah, go, Larry. Go, go, Larry. go, Larry. I didn't think my butt was flipped the right way. I've been thinking that for 10 years. <laughs> Anyhow, the I, am here, button ain't I, flipped on. Good at it. I am here with the winning car owner from the prey. A little thirsty, yeah. The yeah. interview, you're supposed to give you another. Okay. Hey, you know what, boy? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. A lot better. It. A lot better. You know what Boyer, Boyer said? Position. No, it's not. Now we hear you talking, and you're not supposed to be talking. <laughs> I'm everywhere down here. Guys, I'm with Ryan Newman. Ryan, you were 20th quickest in practice. Looks like you guys maybe made a little bit of a mock qualifying run there near the end. We did. It, uh, it started raining on uh, my qualifying lap. I went to my qualifying lap through one and two there, and I backed off a little bit. But I don't really know exactly what we had. We made some changes to the race car, just trying to get a little, little bit more speed out of it. Uh, but I think the track's going to be back to where it was. It's, I was kind of happy we had a late draw, but now I'm not so happy. Were you making fun of my big forehead a <laughs> while ago? <laughs> no, no, you're talking about Lindsay being blind. I said, well, I really can't tell what you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real, real quick. Get in again, or what happened? Look, work with me. You don't have to work with me, just don't work against me. Big weekend for Army. It is. It's uh, their birthday this weekend. It was at 2.30. Mac is still sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of notes. Jason career, have you ever seen anybody work this hard on pit road as I've been doing today? <laughs> I, you've been up and down, Larry. You've been pretty busy. We've been uh, we've been checking you out on TV there, and and I, uh, it's been impressive. And, and Steve and Jeff, just for the record, the wind you feel is not a car coming by. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, they're bringing you another battery for your pack. <laughs> Nobody probably knows how miserable Friday can be as a go or go homer than Michael Walter. Michael, you're trying to get in your fourth show of 2010. Why wow. Michigan? Well, we're going to race next week in uh, Sonoma. I've got a sponsor, Toyota Sponsor Fire Your Car, is on our, on our Toyota Camry next week for Prism. And so I just wanted to remind myself of how miserable these days are when you've got to go make the show on time. I mean, I lived it two or three years ago, and I just needed a little bit of a refresher, I guess, to, to go out there and, and try to put this car in the show this week, get to know the guys a little bit, and be ready for next week. But I want to explain something to you. I do the truck races on speed up there in the booth. What a cushy job. Anybody can sit up there and talk. It's the men and women on pit road that sweat, that dig, to get the stories that make a broadcast. If it weren't for you guys making the sacrifices you make and doing the things you do, those guys up in the booth wouldn't even have a job. So thank you, Larry. I appreciate what you're doing. I may be the first pit reporter in the history of NASCAR to pour Coca-Cola on myself. It looks good to you, but don't waste to drop that Coca-Cola. It's good <laughs> right to the last drop. I'm a part-time driver, so I don't have one of them people to hand me my Coke when I need it. So I'm going to do a little bit of this. Oh. You know what they say in Alabama, don't you? That's two nice ones right there. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Elliott, six poles, seven wins. The Wood Brothers, 11 wins, 18 wins total. That's some pretty solid numbers uh, for this package you guys got here. <laughs> yeah, but that was before today. <laughs> you know, this is a whole different world today and the way these cars are. And, you know, still trying to catch up, running a limited schedule, and everything you do in this sport, it, it's tough. It's a tough deal. And, uh, you know, Ford's been good to the Woods Brothers, and the Woods Brothers have been good to me, and I'm going to go give it my best shot. Are you still having fun when you come each week, Bill? Oh, I'm having a ball. I still enjoy it. Uh, I had good. I had a lot of fun the other night at Aurora, but we'll see what today brings. Good luck, buddy.
<laughs> Guys, I found a hat, just for the record. Perfect. I'm feeling thank, better. Thank you, Dudley Do-Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tony, for the guys, they've been working their butts off. I mean, there's only five guys at the shop, and they, uh, they've given me a great race car every time we go on the racetrack. Um, you know, if it unloads good, drives good, it makes it easy to where you just, you know, you're fine tuned on the thing the whole day. It's when it unloads and it's a bucket that you're in trouble. So, so far, things have been good. Uh, we'll hopefully we can keep the streak alive today. Well, good luck on this qualifying. And guys, as you can see, this is Larry Mack's last driver to interview. I'm done. Y'all can pick on somebody no, else. No. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bye-bye. Go to the garage. Go to the garage, Larry. Got to do the Go pole. I can't hear you. Got to do the pole.